All right, fellas, we're back with G-Body Media. Y'all see I got Lucille in the air. I'm finna go up under there and see where I can find where the oil leak coming from. Um, it's probably the pan gasket. I'm gonna get under there and see if I can tighten up the boat, see if they lose, see if I can band-aid it for now. You know, um, the rear main seal probably leaking. You know, it's a host of um, areas it can leak from. But you know, the engine gotta come out for that. So I'm just gonna get up under there for now and see if I can band-aid and tighten up the pan bolts or just see where it's coming from. I haven't got up under there yet, but we're gonna see what Lucille look like uh, up underneath and we're gonna go up under there together. But before we do that, since I got up in the air, I can show y'all a little bit better of how I got stuff in the engine bay. And a guy asked me about how I had the, um, the AC, how I mounted the AC with the 455. If y'all know, the 307 to 455 swap, everything bolts up and mounts the same, but the deck height of the 455 is uh, higher than the 307. So when I first put it in, I couldn't um, get the AC on because uh, the brackets wouldn't line up. It just wouldn't work. Um, so doing research and digging and stuff on the Oldsmobile forum, I found how, how guys um, modified it to work. And I'm going to show y'all that, but we're going to start on this side and we're going to get to that. See right here, if you notice, uh, if you've seen the other videos, I got the Holly Terminator X Stealth, which is um, the ECU is separate. It ain't like the snipers where the snipers uh, ECU is mounted on the throttle body. You know, my ECU is in my glove box. Right there. With the relays and stuff right there. And I got my coil mounted here where the stock map sensor mounted to and it's pretty secure, it ain't going anywhere. And I got my um, fuel filter slash regulator right here mounted. And what it is, it's uh, regulated at 60 PSI and it has a 10 micron uh, filter in there to clean out everything before it gets to the uh, fuel and fuel rail and the fuel injectors right there. And uh, you see right here, I uh, went on and uh, wired everything that I thought I'd need in the future to Deutsch connectors and I can terminate whatever I need. It's got like a five volt reference, uh, sensor ground. Um, what else it got? Uh, 12 volt switch, 12 volt constant. I got a uh, like an eight gauge, 10 gauge uh, constant power if I need to run something to it. And um, I rewired, uh, redid my um, AC harness and I wired that with a Deutsch connector also. And if you know about the uh, the Regals and the Cutlasses, the AC system is wired a little bit different from the other G bodies like the Chevy, the Monte Carlos, the Malibus and stuff. They actually wired with a, uh, a AC shutoff relay, which is wired through the factory ECM. So when I took out my factory ECM and wiring harness, I couldn't get the AC, no power to the AC or heater box. And um, digging on uh, the forums and the groups. I think I found it on Classic G Body uh, Garage Facebook group. But what it is is the um, it's wired. The ground is sent, sent through the um, the factory ECM, and the AC si signal is. So once you turn the AC on, it'll let the ECM know that the AC the uh, AC is on. And when you add a certain RPM, it'll automatically cut it off once you get that cert certain RPM through the ground. So it's wired exactly like that because I got the uh, Holley Terminator and I just send the uh, the signal wire straight to the uh, the input of the uh, the Holly, And that'll let the Holly know when the AC is on. And I send an output to the AC uh, cutoff relay. And I got it set uh, at a certain RPM, it'll cut off and it switch that relay to turn the uh, AC system off. And I redid my, uh, I kept my charcoal canister to keep fuel vape, uh, vapor smell down. And I just redid the hoses and stuff. I got brand new AC line. Um, the only thing I haven't switched yet is the, uh, the AC compressor. And I'm gonna show y'all how I got that done. I basically just used the bracket off the old 307 setup, which you see right there, it's a slot. And it's got adjustment where I can bolt bolted to down there in the stock location to the block. And I use that as an adjustment. And I just drilled a hole at the top part right here and sent a real long bolt through there and then mounted. And I was gonna put a nut on there. Well, I actually did, 
but it came real close to when the belt on and this um back piece right here so i took the nut off and i just um surveyed it for like a week or so to see if any of the threads move but they never moved that sucker is in there she ain't going nowhere and that's how i uh basically got the um ac on my 455 in the g body and i just used that bracket from the 307 and that's the only part i had to modify is that that hole right there to get that boat to come through and that gave me the adjustment to slide it up or wherever that i needed to get through to that point but I redid my Holly harness. It came with Delphi Metropack connectors. I put these uh, Deutsch connectors on. You know, you can uh, easily switch these out, depin it, and go to a larger connector or a smaller connector. Now that's how I did my distributor connector too. And I got the uh, the HyperSpark system, which is, this is for the Oldsmobile, and it controls the timing with the, uh, the Holly system. And my CD box is over there, mounted on the firewall. Well, on the fender wheel. And that's my fan relay. I redid all the wiring and stuff, put it in this uh, sheathing and stuff. And if you see down there, it's another fuse box. Everything that going down there is went to the uh, stock. St you know, GM used the, uh, the starter as a fuse distribution. Uh, Ford used like a solenoid on the side of the fender wheel. But I don't want all my distribution going down to the start if I have a problem or something, I have to get down there. So everything is mounted to that fuse box right there. And um, when I did it, when I did my rewire in my AC box, um, I kind of ran out of uh, the budget because I was going to get a better fuse box, but it was kind of out of the budget. So I am going to upgrade that to like a leash, leash electronics block or like a, like a small PDM or something. But I got a, a dual post, a dual side post battery, a top and side post. I got all the clean ground, all the clean power and grounds going to the top post for like my Holly computer, my uh, my Holly screen, everything that's need clean power going to the top, um, clean power and ground going to the top. And all my dirty power and grounds, which is like stuff like the starter, the alternator power, anything that's like, that commits a lot of, uh, electronic noise is going to the bottom post. And that's how I got that set up. And this is my linkages set up. And that's got like, that's like a few hundred bucks in linkages, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, if you first get the Holly stuff, uh, it's kind of like a stiff pedal. And what people do is they go with like a, um, uh, uh, they'll change it to where it'll open off of uh, just the, the front two barrels. But that's just a band-aid and that's gonna give you a whole uh, list of problems. I did it at first and I do got the little pieces like right here and all it does, it changes it. It's a progressive linkage which changes. Like right now, all four barrels open up at the same time. And that one, it opened it up at like 40%. So the front two barrels open up and then when it get to 40%, that's when the back two barrels open up. But like, you gotta tune it for that in the uh in the tune and it's pretty difficult if you don't like if you like me just starting out you don't really need to do that so what i did was just use the stock one and they made an extension lever and i bought that and it made it a real soft pedal and i got that from low car performance and just used the gm uh stock cable and cut the end off and you know this is adjustable and they give you you can see how smooth it well i have to uh do it from the inside because the cable is switched, but you can see, let me show you. You can see how smooth it just goes back. I got the uh, double springs. Um, this Holly bracket is like 120 something bucks, fellas. Like they make ones uh, that's a lot cheaper, but I didn't know because I wanted to use my kick down thing too. I didn't know if the other ones uh, made it to where it'll fit. And you know, like the, uh, the other ones, they didn't make it to where all this clear. So some guys got to uh, do a little bit of modification right there to get those to work. That's why I went with the Holly. I had to spend a little bit more money, but everything right here is just flawless right there. You know, I got my stock uh, ground strap and stuff. Um, and you know, on the EFI system, the grounds is the most important thing. Uh, if you come over here, you see I got my AC compressor. If you look down there, I got a ground coming off of there, going to the uh, to the frame, and 
you know, this bracket is grounded to the um, the intake, but I do got a ground coming from that to the battery, and that's a ground to the uh, firewall. And then if you look down here, um, right here, that's a ground going to the battery to the block. And then right behind it, you see that right there? That's going up, coming right there coming up to right there, grounded to the alternator. You know, here go another ground going to the battery. You never have enough grounds, fellas. And I have no issues with my Holly system, none of the uh, electronics or nothing. I just got really good grounds. Another ground going to the core support right there. You see a ground over there, it's just like, Make sure they clean, got dielectric grease, and you'll have really no issues, fellas. Um, I got my sensors. I redid all of that so they can fit perfect. They ain't gonna have no extra slack or nothing. I still got the stock sensors to the stock cluster, but everything else you can see on the uh, Pro Dash. Yeah. You can see how clean it is up there. I come out every weekend when I'm off and if it's any leaves, well, now I, I got a carport, but when I didn't have it, I just come out there and get off all the leaves and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna go up underneath, fellas, and I'm gonna turn y'all back on. We're gonna see if we can find that oil leak, and we're gonna check out Lucille up underneath, fellas. All right, fellas, this is what Lucille looking like underneath. Uh, I'm gonna start up here, and we're gonna work our way back, but you can tell that I got massive leakage coming from that oil pan. It's just causing a lot of grease, a lot of crud and grease and stuff. Work our way back. That's without most of it. It's probably that pan gasket. Let's take a look. You see a drop up there by the rear main. So that's probably gonna be changed when I do the engine. But my transmission rebuild, I don't think that's leaking or nothing. You see it's black oil on it, so that's probably coming from, well, the oil coming from up there. But I got three inch exhaust and it wasn't, when I did my exhaust, it wasn't in the budget to get the uh, the G-Force cross member to tuck the exhaust up under there, but I have to get it because you see, it's scraping and stuff when I hit. If I got a passenger, if it's scraping, or if I hit a pothole or something. And you see my frame, where we've been putting the jack on it, that needs to be fixed. You don't supposed to do that. But it was already like that, and I continue to do it, but that don't make any excuse, but uh, that's gonna have to be addressed. Uh, she all right up under here, but you know, all g bikes they got a whole lot of issues, and it's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. But when I start doing the suspension and stuff, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a, a frame off or not, but I'm going to try to get up under here and do it the best I can, but I'm going to try to straighten that frame out and stuff and clean it up, redo my exhaust. I'm going to still go with three-inch dumped, but I'm just going to have them redo this with the dual force to tuck it up under there. That one's all right on that side because it's got the, the hump, but it's just this one. I get them to do that. But that's how she looking, fellas. So I'm going to see if I can get y'all set up. I'm going to get my, I don't know if I can get the, yeah. Some of them boats ain't, I ain't going to be able to get to, like the one right there by the engine mount. I can try to tighten up some of them, but. Some of them not gonna be be able to get to. And you see how I did the exhaust, how they did it. They just plugged that and just ran it. It ain't no X. Sorry, fellas, it cut off. But it ain't no X pipe or nothing. It's just true duels. But um, I'm gonna try to get up under here and tighten it up and see. But if not, we'll have to pull it out do what we got to do all right fellas i'm gonna turn y'all back on when i get up out of here all right fellas we're back i went up under there it was a few of them that was loose i tightened them up 
But nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have to replace that gasket. And I'm gonna have to get a hoist, lift the engine up, take the pan off and uh, replace it. So that's probably gonna be on down the road. But as long as I keep her under 75, 80, she don't smoke or nothing. So we're gonna do that later down the road when we stack up some funds, fellas. But uh, right now, to finish you off, I'm gonna give y'all guys a cold start. I know the last cold start I did, I came out when I shut the hood, I smelled a lot of gas. So I'm gonna uh, crank her up and we're gonna come out here and we're gonna look for uh, fuel leaks together, fellas. Let's see if Lucy will crank up. Let's see what she do, fellas. Let's see. Starting a damn fire out here. So. That's gonna have to be addressed, fellas. You know, that's probably my doing by putting a uh, non EFI clamp on there. I don't like those clamps, but I never had an issue until now. But see, I, as y'all can see, I knew I smelt fuel, so. That's gonna be have to be addressed, fellas, so. This what comes with it, fellas. So, as you can see, that's what she's leaking for. Y'all stay tuned. That'll be the next thing I fix on Lucille. Hope y'all enjoy it, fellas. Y'all have a great day. Stay tuned in.